DCS World. The split Airs OV10 Bronco mod. And I've been playing it a lot. It's a really good uh, mod. Um, uh, but like most mods, it's really limited in what it can do. And I've been flying the, the mod nose up, I mean, going right after targets, but that's not its intended role. It's a forward air observer, uh, but you don't have radio communications. Not so fast. If you watch the 311 Griffin uh, channel, uh, you'll see that uh, there's some script missions that have been put out uh, and I'll leave a link to uh, 311 Griffin's uh, YouTube channel where he has links to them uh, but I followed his instructions and uh, downloaded the uh, forward observer playground mission it's for the OV-10 Bronco and it really adds some immersion and capability to the aircraft and 311 also has a good starting point on how to write scripts so we're gonna fly that mission uh, I actually added to it um, you can save it in your missions files and then um, do some more uh, editing if you if you want to uh, I did uh, just so I could get some more out of it. And the, the script's underway. And we're getting uh, urgent uh, radio traffic for uh, airstrikes, close air support from a ground unit. And uh, they're popping green smoke. And we're picking it up almost nose up. And with that, uh, with the script, you can add a uh, call for airstrikes, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's all set up in the mission editor. Uh, so all we have to do is hit the radio communications key, the, the backslash, and then the F10 key. So what I added is uh, blue smoke uh, fired at the position, the direct position of enemy troops. And I hit the F10 key. And we're calling in uh, for an airstrike with aircraft that are equipped with cluster munitions. F5s that are orbiting, just waiting for us to mark the target. And the script gives us instructions on what to do. Uh, so we're going to mark as close as we can uh, to the blue smoke. Some white phosphorus rockets. When the F-5s see the white smoke, they'll know where to drop their cluster munitions. All right, our F-5s are rolling in hot with CBUs, Mark 20s. They're calling bombs out. So let's keep visual on the smoke marker. Oh, dude. They're right on target. So we have the uh, ability to call additional airstrikes, but they were on the money. All right, let's clear out and head back to base.
All right, we're going to contact the tower and call ourselves Sounds inbound. Infield one one inbound. And we don't have return radio communications just of yet. Flaps and gear down. turn in. All right, we're just about lined up. Got a good approach. Just a few corrections. Level out our wings. Nose up. And touchdown. Nailed it. All right, it's good to be back to base. Reversing engines. And let's taxi over to the parking area. Right brake, right rudder. More so the brake. out landing lights all right let's move over to the parking area lined up with these A4 Skyhawks. Looks like the Wake Island Avengers. Left brake, left rudder. We're just taxiing uh, and tapping the brakes. Just slight pops. Move up a little bit more in the parking area. Here we go. Let's go ahead and shut our engines down. All right, one and two are shut down. like we're the Marine Corps Air Station. You know what that means? We're going to get abused. All right, let's check our score. And looks like the airstrikes were effective. Uh, numerous uh, enemy troops were taken out. So it was a good mission using the scripts and the OV-10 as a forward air observer. Uh, the mission sure was a lot of fun to fly. Well, guys, Please subscribe if you like this channel. Like, hate, subscribe. We'll see you up again soon.